Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today, we're going to be talking about humans' interest in how they will get oxygen on Mars. This is a very important topic, especially if we want to send people to live on the red planet soon. Well, oxygen is essential for life. We need it to breathe, and our bodies use it to produce energy. Unfortunately, the Martian atmosphere is very thin, and it's made up mostly of carbon dioxide. So, if we want to live on Mars, we'll need to find a way to produce oxygen ourselves. There are a few different ways to produce oxygen on Mars. One way is to use electrolysis. Electrolysis is the process of using electricity to split water into hydrogen and oxygen. This is the same process that's used to produce oxygen for submarines and the International Space Station. We could use in-situ resource utilization, ISARIO, to produce oxygen from Martian resources. For example, we could use water ice from the Martian poles to produce oxygen through electrolysis. We could use robots to mine and process Martian resources to produce oxygen. This would allow us to produce oxygen on a larger scale than would be possible with human labor. We could develop new technologies for oxygen production, such as using genetically modified organisms or artificial photosynthesis. By developing new technologies and using ISARU, we can overcome the challenges of producing oxygen on Mars and support human exploration of the Red Planet. Another way to produce oxygen on Mars is to use a process called Solid Oxide Electrolysis SOX. SOX is a newer technology than electrolysis, and it's more efficient. It also works at a higher temperature, which is important because the Martian atmosphere is so cold. NASA is currently testing a SOX device called MOXIE on Mars. MOXIE is about the size of a toaster oven, and it's able to produce about 6 grams of oxygen per hour. That's not enough to support a human being, but it's a good start. In addition to electrolysis and SOX, there are a few other ways to produce oxygen on Mars. For example, we could use algae or plants to produce oxygen through photosynthesis. We could also use a chemical process called the Sabatier reaction to convert carbon dioxide and water into oxygen and methane. But there are a few challenges that we'll need to overcome before we can start producing oxygen on Mars on a large scale. First, we'll need to find a reliable source of power. Electrolysis and SOX both require electricity to work. So, we'll need to find a way to generate enough electricity to power our oxygen production systems. Second, we'll need to find a way to store the oxygen that we produce. Oxygen is a gas, and it's difficult to store gases in a pressurized state. So, we'll need to develop new technologies for storing oxygen on Mars. Third, we'll need to make sure that the oxygen that we produce is pure enough to breathe. Oxygen that's contaminated with other gases can be dangerous. So, we'll need to develop systems for filtering and purifying the oxygen that we produce. Producing oxygen on Mars is a challenging task, but it's essential for human exploration of the Red Planet. NASA and other space agencies are working on developing technologies to produce oxygen on Mars on a large scale. And, with continued research and development, we should be able to overcome the challenges and start producing oxygen on Mars soon. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something new about how humans will get oxygen on Mars. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos about science and space.